Grace and I, we're today we're jumping into a new show. This show is called Special Ops Lioness. So, I don't know how this show actually has gone onto my radar, but it just started streaming. Um, and I think it came out July 23rd. It only has the first two episodes in, so I'm like, super, super excited to jump right into this. If you guys have not heard of this, we're gonna see together if we're going to like this show. Like I said, it's on, it's on the first two episodes so far. This is the first season. Now, why did I jump onto the show? I have to let you know. Nicole Kidman is one of my favorite actors actresses ever like ever she is my icon she is my idol she is a icon um and then and then i just moved right along from nicole friedman and i'm pretty sure i saw um morgan friedman not, not nicole friedman nicole kimmon and then i thought i saw morgan friedman and I'm not sure if I did. So we're going to jump into this, guys. Plus, I think I saw another actress in here. Um, who, Zoe Saladon, Saladana, whatever her name is. Uh, Zoe, I know her too. So um, I'm ready to jump into this, guys. This actually threw me all the way for a loop. I wasn't actually planning to film this. I was about to jump into Foundation, which I am going to continue to watch on this platform in case you guys are interested in that show. I like to give you guys content that you will not be able to find. Well, maybe you will. That's all I. But I'd like to try to be unique and give you guys a bunch of stuff that you guys do not see often on the YouTube platform. A lot of reactors don't react react to it. Um, I try to steer all the way away from uh, shows that every other reactor uh, watches. Like, every show. Because, like, what is the point? I mean, you are going to see a bunch of shows dropping very soon that a bunch of reactors are going to be watching. Like, ah Ahsoka. Ahsoka. I always mess up her name. And, um, Loki and all. Like, those shows. But this show, it definitely seems like it's right up my alley. It seems like it's going to be action, crime, ops, I'm here for the ruckus. I am here for the noise. Guys, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Like all of my shows, guys, um, sometimes I really do like a lot of shows and the viewers just don't really want to watch it. So the views are not viewing. The likes are not liking. And the comments just are not commenting. Then unfortunately, I would drop this show like every other show that I would drop like a bad habit but hopefully you guys will like it hopefully i will like this show and we'll continue watching it as it drops the episodes i'm assuming weekly so without further ado ooh, let's jump into special ops lioness and find out exactly what the show has got to give syria She's that guy at my 11 o'clock, 200 meters out. He was sick the day they taught tactics. <laughs> what is this guy doing? What happened? I'm blown. How? She saw the cross. The cross? What cross? The fucking cross. On my side. From when my brother died. Does everybody know I'm just her? Everyone. They're hunting me now. Oh, what shit. in the fuck is this guy doing? Hey, can we just shoot this fucker? Armed. We move now! Her cover's blown! Steve, we gotta roll! It's that cord! Shoot it! Seven with an immediate cast request. Over! Alabama, shoot seven. Roll tie two. Guns only on target on the overhead. Marked by yellow smoke. Danger close on my command. Pops, no! Get your team ready to move. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. I need a fucking ETA. We're here. Heavy resistance. Bobby, no bullshit. Can you get her? I'll never say no. Sir, I have a problem. An HV asset is compromised. In contact with the asset? I am. Now? She's dead. Never mind. I know what to do. 
Maintain altitude at 500 meters. Do not engage. 27 set position for whiskey. Whiskey. Alpha. There's tally target. Delicious. You give me a shake? You said burger, that's what I got. Bitch, can't you read? Don't call me a bitch. But you are. Hey, how much you made tonight? 500. No one shake my ass for money. I'm a dancer. Bitch, you're a fucking stripper. What the fuck you call me, bitch? No, no. Taking her side what now? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Goddamn right, you sorry. Go to fucking bed. Trade that bitch for a new model. Okay, this show is rated 10. This shit is crazy. Where are you going? Bathroom. Where are you going? I don't know. Oh, one well, fuck. Like, what the fuck is wrong with ah! Problems between me and her. Not anymore. Now it's between you and the United States Marines. Life boils down to a few decisions. You're now facing one of them. You do that to his face? I cheated. I used a frying pan. In war, if you aren't cheating, you aren't trying. You came to the right place. Yeah, girl, why would you go back to work? Well, you know, honey. It's not gonna get any cleaner. I can get it cleaner. It wasn't that clean when it was new. I can get it cleaner. They here for you? He's saying you assaulted him. Is that true? I assaulted him back. Can take it to a shelter. I'll take my chances at the park. I know your chances in the park. They aren't good. Ben, your minimum standard is three pull-ups. Ladies, your minimum standard is a 12-second flex storm hang. Put me in that line. Why? Because I can give you 15 right now. Yes, sir. Sergeant, I work for a living. That's 19, recruit! You want to break a record for me? Yes, sir! Stop fucking calling me, sir! Attack everything they throw at you just like this. There's no stopping you. 99% on her ASVAB score? She got 99 on her PT on the men's scale. I want to talk to her. You're not enlisted yet. No need to salute me. Sorry, sir. Your test scores are unusual. Once every five or so years, unusual. 22 pull-ups, 114 push-ups in three minutes. Standard is 15. I ran the 800 in high school, sir. Why are you here, not achieving all the things that these tests say you should be achieving? Mother died in junior year. I just stopped caring. Father? Who knows? I don't. One brother dead, one in prison, if you call that family. What does the word Marine mean to you? And why are we talking? Why are you here? I was being hunted, and I, a Marine was there, and he protected me. He offered me a chance to So you do know what it means. We are the strong. We protect the weak. 1.4 million active duty personnel in the armed forces. They all do their part. But there's not a thousand among them that we can call on that make a difference. I think you could be one of those few. We're looking back. That life is over. I have no life, sir. Compromised. Compromised how? <sighs> Saw the tattoo of a cross beneath her armpit. You didn't think to check your operative for tattoos? I asked her if she had any tattoos, and she said no. And you just took her word for it. Walk us through your decision to call the drone strike. You still ordered the strike? There are more than 40 ISIS fighters at that location prepared for our assault. I can guarantee you they've strip searched her and made a home movie we do not want on the internet. I chose to protect my team and the sanctity of our operation. Check the next one for tattoos. Every inch of her. Debriefs are unpleasant for a reason, Joe. I can assure you his debrief will be that and worse. Good. It's not your fault, Chum. She lied to you. I trusted her. Her whole life ahead of her, and I just dropped a missile on it. What's up? What's up, car she does? Grits don't have a taste. It tastes like whatever you put in it, and I put cheese in it. <laughs> oh. No phone call? I thought I surprised you. Yeah. Yeah. Why is her, her oldest, not talking? I hate it when she's here. 
Hey, we don't say that. Finish your meal. When you call first, I can download you on what they've been doing. What about staying at Brad, calling tomorrow? You don't need permission to come home. I'm trying to make the landing softer. You're staying fit out there in the desert, I see. Who's that desert? She is going through so much. You seeing anyone? No. Not really. Just, you know, to feel something. Anything. You're right. I should have called first. And everyone knows how to play their role. I say love's all you need. That's not a saying, baby. That's a song. This one? Fucking pipe hitter, this girl. She's from Mexico, Jack. How's her Arabic? Clean. On four language courses, keeps up with it good. It's Force Recon before we got her. Halo jumps in country. <laughs> That's the top 10% on the officer's scale. She's been in insertion training for six months. I don't like my ass. It's picked for me, Jack. Manuelos! Hastings, in the pit! Give him a helmet. I don't need a helmet. You're gonna need a helmet. Fighting a fucking raccoon! I told you you need a helmet. Fuck you! Special activities? You want your chance, so here it is. Classified. Where? Classified. I'm not done vetting you yet. When the Lioness team was first formed, just needed female soldiers to frisk and interrogate female insurgents. You can't have a man running his hand over some Muslim teenager's groin. What it has evolved to is locate the wives and the girlfriends. Friends with them, earns their trust, leads us to the target, and we kill the target. I think if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, ma'am. You got any tattoos? No, ma'am. Prove it. All of it. What are those? From cigarettes. From an extension cord. Should answer your question about how much pain I can take. Knock yourself out, lady. I can stand here all fucking day. You'll do. Get packed. He's a target? He is the target. Who's my mark? Daughter. You know I'm married? Hey, we don't do that. I'm not your friend and you aren't mine. You'd like to be in charge, is that it? With your years of experience? I'd like to know you. Your cover is blown, there is no saving you. That's what this job has taught me. You have to save yourself. Then we come get you. IDs all the way around? Yeah. Go get mine. Fair enough. There's a cantina down the hall. The rest of the team is gonna meet us there in a cafe in case you're hungry. You have a cafe? More importantly, we have a cantina. 7 0 for 18 Stop now. Stop cheating, Bobby. Are you cheating? I wonder how you drink that with no ice in this fucking desert. So this is for cooling off. And this is not. Our little sparrow. The one and only. Hey! I'll introduce you around. This is our QRF team leader, Bobby. It's two cups. That over there is Tex. Cups is something. And you try to fuck everything. It's horrible. How many beers is that? <laughs> Just so I know where to sit. <laughs> don't get it. He starred in the movie Tex. Still don't get it. His family keeps an apartment here. We have eyes on it. When she moves, we move. Where does he stay? That's the million dollar question you're here to answer. When's our wake up? Uh, we wake up when we feel like it. Here we go. I think I'm in love. Uh, don't hurt yourself. Fucking Marine. <laughs> What'd you expect? <laughs> All right, then. There's clothes in the closet. Something cute, stylish. This blue purse, the Chanel. Meet us in the briefing room in 15 minutes. <sighs> yeah, I'm coming. Now, she's on the move. What is your name? Zora Adi. Where are you from? Where the fuck are you from? I was born in Boston, but my parents were born in Abu Dhabi. You know what she looks like? I know what she looks like. Look at her again. Wait, I don't know her name. You're not supposed to know her name. Or you say something she hasn't told you about herself yet. You're blind on purpose. Do not follow me. Do not look at me. Understood? Say it. I understand. Fuck! I don't know where I'm going! Relax. Louis Vuitton, this store on the left. Go there now. American. Yeah. A woman can buy jewelry for herself. Why not? Because it doesn't mean anything. If you uh, wait for an American man to buy you jewelry, you'll never have any. You have family here? My uncle. It's okay, we go down to Estee Lauder. It's across the street. If you don't want my help, that's fine. Just trying to be nice. Zara. Yeah, this will be fun. Yeah. <laughs> She's in. Oh, well! So 
of the movie, the show is called Linus, not Special Ops Linus, but I guess if you want me to give you the whole title, I will. But, um, that was definitely a 10 out of 10. It was, it was literally start right away as soon as I hit play, it went in. There was not even an intro. It just went in. I loved it. I if I could rate it higher than a 10, which I can, 20, I would. It was phenomenal. Are you, do you guys like it? I hope you guys like it. Um, so, is that, is that actress the one who plays in Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't know. I can't remember. I think it is, because that lady's name is Zoe, too, or Zoe. I don't know. I actually cannot remember. But anyways, I really did like this. Um... I'm just ready for more. There's only one more episode that's out, so maybe I'll be able to watch it. If you guys are really into this episode, hopefully, if you guys, like, don't know anything about it and you guys saw this reaction and then you want to go see it, please go check it out. I believe I am on Paramount. Um, please, please, please check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you've already seen it, comment down below. Guys, hit that like button. Share, share, share. Please, please do your big one on this one because I really want to continue on to the show. I really found it amazing and I hope you guys too. Also, salute to the military. Honestly, to tell you the truth, everything about this episode was just like really realistic. Her getting beat up, you got to see what actually women go through or even men because men do get abused as well. But in this one, it's women. You get to see how scary it is, it is right, right, right away. Why am I stuttering? Um, you also got to see how it is in the military and the special ops and see that hard choice that she had to make by just blowing everybody up. Because if she sent her team in, her team actually could have died as well. And she would have not, not, maybe not even gotten to the person she's trying to save. The person she's trying to save is probably going to be dead by the time they get to her. Um, so she had to make that hard choice. And then have another hard choice and picking somebody else and bringing them back into there. But I like how she said, we are not friends. Uh, that's not what we're gonna do here. And I really did like that. Honestly, to tell you the truth, that's how I go into new jobs. I let all my coworkers know I am not your friend. I am your coworker. So don't treat me as we are friends. It always sounds really harsh at first, but it's really honestly to keep that keep that line there. And I started drifting away from that motto where I'm not your friend, I'm your coworker. Um, and I need to get back to that because you people people really forget that we're, we're not buddies we, we don't call each other so um that's how I really I really connected with her and honestly knowing what she was going through it was really it was really hard to see then going through that and now seeing how this whole operation works I'm just really in it. You guys know I was engaged, or if you don't know, I was engaged to somebody, and he was in the he is in the uh, the military, and he went overseas. He came back, and the way her children were acting, I didn't act, but I understood like why he was so different, and it got worse and worse every time he went somewhere. So. Um, it's really hard on the military uh, men and women who serve this country, and it's also really hard for the family. So, shout out to everybody in the military, as well as military families. It is hard on everybody, the kids, the spouses, and the person who's actually serving. So, it, 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 it's hard. Um, that's why I really do appreciate this show, and like I said, please like the video, comment down below. If you do not know this show, go check it out. Check out the trailer. See what the trailer gives you. Um, and, and then come back to the reaction. Comment. And, and then go check out the show. And then, and then come back to the reaction. And, and then go back to the show. You guys know what to do. I'll see you guys next time with, with more, hopefully, Linus. <laughs> Love it.